guys what is going on rick danger here and today i have something really really special that just came off the plane from all the way from tokyo and it took me a while to get it i told you guys we're gonna have a motor vlog with one of the tron bikes and here it is of course this is not the original tron bike that was used by the filmmakers but this is as close as we can get of course this thing is everything but street legal but you know what i say rick danger danger is the name and danger is my game so yeah we're gonna wait here till it's a little bit darker and then we're gonna hit the streets of san andreas we're gonna try this thing out i'm gonna show you guys how quick she can go here on the airport before we heading out i don't know what is going on but i haven't seen any planes so far but uh yeah it's gonna be good we're gonna have fun and uh, i hope you will enjoy it and if we see cops well I guess I need a good explanation because this is so far from street legal this thing is not even funny but yeah let's have a look here at the bike look at this look at this like can you, do you do you get this do you see this can can the camera capture it yeah it's amazing guys and uh, we're going to see how fast she can go here as as the sun sets I'm gonna show you guys how fast she can go and uh, yeah, then we're gonna take it from there. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, 90, 100, 105, 107, 110. Whoa, ho, 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 yeah, baby. All right, I think we have to turn around here and try this again. Okay, let's see. hundred and sixteen miles now i expected a lot but this i did not expect all right so we're gonna have fun we're gonna hit the streets of los santos here tonight and uh now we're gonna <laughs> i'm, I'm kind of wondering if uh if we make it past any cops without getting pulled over but uh, hey that's just the fun My goodness, this thing is crazy. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, look at the faces. Look at the faces of everybody. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so enough fun here. Let's head on out into the city. Let's head out into the city and see what we can get ourselves into. Yeah, look at the way people look at you. It's absolutely amazing. This bike is just a joy to ride. Not only does it look amazing, but it drives. Oh my goodness, guys. I tell you, you should feel the acceleration of this thing. A 
And now we're going downtown. Yeah, downtown Los Santos on a Tron bike. That is the pure... It is the pure joy. Oh, and here we go. Let's see what you got, copper. Let's see what you got. what I'm talking about. Woo! Yeah! Well, we better lay low for a little while here. Oh, that was crazy. Crazy. Ow. Son of a... Oh. Oh. Really? That was uncalled for. Oh. Dude, I tell you. Oh. That's cool. Shit. What's the status on him? Hey, let me see your hand, sir. Put your hands out to your side now. Get on your stomach. Uh, it's a little it's bit hard to do here right, right now. Oh. Did you do you have taser deployment? Uh, at least he's responsive. Oh uh, yeah. Alright, so just I, stay yeah, on the ground. I'm, taser I'm not. I'm not gonna walk anywhere right now. Oh man, what a ride! All right, all right. Can I get? I'm gonna do contact. You. Oh, can I get? All right, sir. I... Go ahead and stay on your stomach for me. All right, go and put your hands behind your back for me, bud. We're gonna get, we're gonna get the situation taken care of. No, all right. All right. I guess you won. All right, but what's going on today? What are you doing? Are you running from the police? Well, I was having a little bit of fun. I just got this thing from Tokyo. Okay, have you had anything to drink tonight? Any alcohol, uh, in intoxicants? No, man, I don't do that stuff. I just, I do more of right, logs no and, yeah, I guess I got a little bit carried away, and I... You, you're an active rider? It's a nice yeah. bike. Don't get me wrong, man, but, you know, you, when the, the police initiate, you know, you, you know, turn on their overhead lights, it's usually an indication that you need to pull over to the side of the road. 
Um, and that's that's why you're in cuffs right now. That's why you're a taser deployment. Uh, I wasn't the responding officer on scene, so I can't make too much comments about it. But right now you are being detained. You're not under arrest until we can figure out what exactly uh, is going on. And, and we're gonna we're gonna hopefully f you know figure out a solution to this. Okay. But before we continue, go, can I go and get your first and last name, please? Yeah, uh, absolutely, Rick Danger. Yeah, I know it's a funny name, but. All right, Rick. Uh, what's your date of birth? Um, that's a good question. Your date of birth, sir? Oh, give me one second. My my head is still a little bit shaky from that, from that slide, laying right. her down at forty-five miles Indeed. an hour. Ouch. <laughs> oh yeah, that would. That it would definitely hurt. Do you need medical attention of any kind, bud? No, I, if, if you're I, feeling I, like your head I, or anything I don't, like that, I, I don't. Think, I think I'm good, thanks. But if you don't mind, if you I sure? can sit right, down, that you, you would be feel... awesome. Absolutely. Hey, man, can, yeah, I want to go ahead and walk? get you onto this intersection. Yeah, can you can you walk? I want to get you over oh, in front of my oh, car. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we just, we don't want to we don't want to see you get hit by a vehicle. So you keep thinking of your date of birth. We're gonna go ahead and walk you over there. Thanks for your cooperation, but we appreciate it. You know, we just, we want to figure out what's going on. Yeah, man, I honestly, I, I got a little bit carried away. This thing was just, just way too much fun. Uh, you know, I can understand that, you know, getting a, a fast bike like that, you know, it's it's a tempting thing to, to go pretty fast here. But before we continue, do you have anything on your person? I need to be concerned about guns, bombs, knives, anything to the, that degree. Anything that could hurt us, we need to be concerned uh, about. No, uh, the only thing uh, I have is... Uh, is uh no the uh you said you have some money it's best to let us know now because we're gonna find it regardless yeah no uh, the, so the, only, money, the, the only thing that i have is the uh the top part of a jerry can and that's all uh, that's really not dangerous just the the, the uh, no like the nozzle yeah, part the nozzle. thank you i tell you okay this i'm gonna go ahead and remove head, it blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no worries. Do you want me to? Are you sure you don't need an ambulance? Because if you're feeling like you have any head damage or anything to that degree, we're gonna wanna, you know, yeah. I don't wanna take the helmet off if you have like a neck injury or something. Yeah, well, I... okay. Do you want me to remove the helmet from you? If it make you feel more comfortable, I just don't want you hyperventilating or you know. Passing yeah, out if from if it, you so. don't mind, that would be great. Or at least open the visor. Let's see what works better. Date of birth. He wants a date of birth. 1K49. I have to look it up. I don't know anymore. Hey, so did you, you think a little bit more on that date of birth? Rick Danger. Rick Danger. Rick Danger. What's the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Sorry. Mr. Danger. It, it, it came to me again. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so it should... No worries. December 17th, 1980. December 17th, 1980. Yes, sir. Alright, are you currently on probation, parole, anything like that? Not that I know, no. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and patch you down here. Uh, you don't have to get up or anything. I'm just going to check your waistband and your upper body okay. just to make sure you don't got anything on your... So can you go ahead and, and maybe uh, enlighten me a bit more about what exactly happened? I know this officer initiated a, a, a traffic stop when you were attempted to and, and you, you fled from him. Uh, before I actually ask any questions, I'm going to go ahead and read your rights. Uh, like I said, you're being detained um, right now, so you're not under arrest uh, until you know we figure figure this out. So you have the right to maintain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present while being questioned. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by the state at no charge. Do you understand your rights? Is that rather you? Yes, sir, I do. And you're willing to speak with me on this issue today? Absolutely. Alrighty. Yeah, because um, I, I have nothing so to hide. I, I'll be honest with you. I, I had too much fun. Okay. I got this bike. As I said, I just got her off the plane. Literally, when the sun set, I took her off the plane and I make in a little sure. motor vlog. And it took me almost a year and a half to get this thing to acquire it from Tokyo. Um, as you can see, it is based. Oh wow! Yeah, that's a long time. Uh, based on the Tron movies, right? And it took me a while to get this. That's beautiful. To get this suit done there as well, and uh, so yeah, it, it, I, you know, man, I I, I relate. You know, I understand. It's, it, it's still, you know, there there is a concern here. So did did you did you know that there is a police officer behind I, you? Yeah, I I I'll be, on, I'll be honest with you. I I uh, I just. I guess the the whole motor vlog thing and, and, and just yeah. 
having a little bit of fun and, and, and the adrenaline and once the lights were going behind me I was just like oh well we play a little bit of cat and mouse and I do realize that was I a mistake you. and I apologize I'm just glad that nobody else got hurt I got you me too I'm, I'm glad to see that you're okay and I'm glad to see that nobody else is injured in this because this is a very serious issue you know when we have to uh, you know conduct these vehicle pursuits or be involved in this you know we're, we're creating a, a dangerous situation for the other people on the roadway you know we're going fast we're going through intersections we have the lights we have the sirens but you know it's still there's a there's a hazard there um so you know regardless it, you're going to be going to jail today there's nothing nothing around it you know you, you run from the police you're going to have some consequences so you're going to be going with uh uh you know you're going to go with fleeing, fleeing and eluding uh resisting arrest as well as uh some some traffic violations that we're, you know, we'll get figured out a little bit later um, that's going to be more towards the discretion of the, the peace officer that, uh, uh, you know, initiated it. So, uh, this vehicle is registered to you, correct? Like, it, it's your vehicle? Well, it's, cool. it's my it's vehicle, but I, know this I got it over from just Tokyo. It took it today off the, so there is, yeah, I, there, there is no registration with the DMV yet. I see. Um, so I guess you have to tow her anyway. Just be careful because if I ever get her back, I would yeah. like to get her in one piece as much absolutely as if you left. can you know if you can absolutely if you can prevent uh present the uh the appropriated documents for the bike showing that you have proof of ownership then there's no reason why you can't get it back um i'll make a note with the uh, the towing company that we're going to have come down and pick it up to uh, be very careful with it it's obviously a very expensive bike that you wait a long time for and i don't want to see it you know you getting it back all, all messed up yeah. you know you, you made a mistake people make mistakes but there's no reason to punish you any further for it um so we're going to just kind of get you out of the road here. Uh, we're going to get you into a vehicle and we're hopefully going to get you out of here. Um, and, and we'll just get you through this process. So you are going to jail today, like I said. So if you want to go ahead and help me stand up, just tuck your foot uh, under your left leg and uh, just go ahead and roll up onto it. It should should help you stand up right. I don't want to okay. tweak my back out. Okay. All right. There we go. So, uh, do you want to transport? Nick? Uh, we we can transport. Yeah, that's fine. Alrighty. Yeah, if you want to actually, uh, let me leave this here. Uh, if you want to go ahead and run his name, um, this other yep. officer, sorry, I'm blanking right. Danny. Hey, uh, it's going to be a Rick Follow Danger. Me. I'll take you to my car. Team. Okay. Uh, 1980. If you just want to run that through, let me know if he comes back with anything. If he's clear current, uh, then we'll hopefully be able to get him on his way. Or, you know, we'll have to get him, you know, we'll get him on his way eventually. You know, it should be a quick process. This isn't too... Oh, finally, the helmet is off. Thanks, guys. I'm just gonna move up a bit here. Yeah, I just got... I Honestly, I got way carried away. Once once the lights were going and then I seen the lights on, on my yeah, bike, and it was just... It was a bad decision that I made there. I, and I, you made... You do the crime, you do the time. I know how it works. Hey, uh, so... What type of bike is that? Is that one there? Yeah, the one you got from Tokyo. Yeah, to be honest with you, I don't even know what they used as the uh, as the base. I think it's uh, the base is a beta. But uh, yeah, they they make them. You can get them from Tokyo pretty much a movie prop realistically because uh, it's not street legal by any stretch of the imagination, let's be honest. I don't think I ever would get it registered because yeah. it doesn't have uh, it. It doesn't have turn signals or anything. Now I am planning on putting those on eventually, but yeah, well, it's now too late. How much did what, how much did that bike set you back? Oh, you don't want to know. It's uh, if it's, you don't mind me it's, asking, it's 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 a yeah, it's a lot of money. It's uh, about uh, fifty six grand is what you're looking at. All right. Which I guess is not. Now, did you super think of? Bad, uh, did you think of when you took it off the plane, getting it uh, on a bed of a truck, taking back to wherever you need it? Well, the thing. Or you were just eager to ride no, it. No, I was eager to ride it, and I, I mean, I, I do more than logging oh, on yeah. YouTube. Oh yeah, totally. I understand. And it's. I was just yeah. It was the opportunity to ride this thing through uh, Los Santos at night. It j just yeah. There's nothing. Nothing I can say that makes it sound better, but that is just simply the, the yeah, 
That's... That was the thinking behind it, and it was stupid, but... Uh, Alright, man. No. Officer, did you run his name? Uh, yeah. He's, uh, all clean. Alright, Mr. Danger. Uh, you come back clear in current NCIC. Negative SRS, nothing on you. Uh, you, not even so much as a traffic ticket, uh, so I'm happy to see that. I, I'm happy to see that this is just a one-time mistake that's kind of, you know, and, and hopefully we don't have to see it again uh, from you, because I feel like you understand the, the importance of, you know, driving safely and not getting into pursuits with the police as it's, you know, kind of common sense, and I, and I feel that, you know, you understand that, and, and, and it's a nice bike, don't get me wrong, that's a beautiful bike, uh, very, very well made, and it goes fast, but just do it in the appropriate set. Like take it down one of the tracks or anything like that and just do it that way because doing this with the police I don't want to see you go to jail. I don't want to see anyone go to jail. Hopefully, you know, we can find a resolve to it to where they don't have to but in this situation we really had no choice um, and, and you know, I'll let the, the I'll talk to the DA and I'll let them know that you were, you know, cooperative and that you did uh, when the report that I filed that you were, you know, very cooperative and you're very kind and, and, and that, you know, that, that goes a long way. Um, so I thank you for that and uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry to see they got in this situation, but you know, hopefully next time you could just make the better decision. Yeah, well, thanks for not tasering me. I, I appreciate that because when I was on the ground there, I was not sure if, if all my bones are broken or not. So I, I do appreciate that you guys gave me a moment to just collect myself and overall. Definitely. As I said, I know I made a mistake there and that's, that's all there is to it. Absolutely. Do you, uh, are you a uh, Los Santos, are you, like, resident? Yes, yes, I am. I, I live up in Milton Drive. Oh, okay. Not too bad, yeah. Here. Have you, you lived here long? Oh, about five years. It's decent. It's what do you do area. for a living? I like... I make vlogs. Oh, motor vlogs? Mostly ah, motor vlogs, about yeah. That. All right. Yeah, started started down on the east coast and figured, oh, move to the west coast. All the motor vloggers are here by the looks of it. Uh, where on the east coast? Yeah. Cause I I'm I used to live in Liberty City. Yeah, no, more to the south, Vice City. Oh, all right, man. That's cool. That's uh, it's probably a lot better weather down there for driving around a motorcycle. I don't know, man. So far, I, I'm I'm pretty thrilled with the weather up here, except for when it rains, man. It never never rains, but it pours. Two voice exit dispatch. We're gonna be arriving on scene at CJ for booking. Uh, ending mileage fifteen hundred. All right, sir. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. All right, but we're going to go ahead and get you all going here. Uh, just letting you know that if you do have anything on your person concealed, they can see that's a full body suit. Um, and if they locate it, because they're going to search you, it's an automatic felony if you bring any kind of contraband uh, into the facility. You know, not saying you are. I'm just, just letting you know. Uh, for yeah, no, I got nothing. About Absolutely that. nothing. Got you, man. Got you, man. I trust you. I'm gonna have All right, sir, the, keep walking. I'm gonna have the, that cell on the end there. All right. I'm gonna have the uh, the facility nurse come down and just check you out real quick. You know, there's no harm in it. They're gonna have to go through their their standard procedure and processes on, on getting you booked, but I'll have her take an extra look at you just due to the the nature of your injury. So, um, if you want to go ahead and just go ahead and face the uh, as close to the beds as you can. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take the cuffs off. If you, if you want to just go ahead and uh, get down on one knee or two knees, please. And release the fingers sure. behind your head. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. Actually, you can't. Sorry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and get those cuffs off you. Yeah. Alright, sir. Once you remove the cuffs, just go ahead and continue facing the bed until I exit the cell. I will notify you when I do so. Alright, sir. You can go ahead and remove that helmet at any time. Uh, I know the correction staff is going to come down and they're going to take everything off you, so they're going to do that now. But I hope you have a, a good rest of the day, and uh, you know, hopefully, I, I don't have to see you again under these circumstances. Yeah, cool, man.
you guys stay safe and as I said I mean, have a good one. as I said, thank you for treating me decent. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah, man, if you're cool with us, we'll be cool with you. Definitely. Definitely. Alright, sir. Have a good stay day. Stay safe, guys.